So, uh, figured I would, uh, I don't know, do another little vlog here. I'm gonna try to do a couple things in this video. One, not fidget. Uh, I watched that last video I posted and Jesus Christ, man. I thought I had fucking dangerous for lice or some shit the way I was fucking rubbing my head all the time. Ridiculous. Uh, two, gonna really try not to repeat myself. Uh, and three, just kinda, I guess just talk about, uh, you know, some of the reasons, some of the deep reasons why I'm really doing this. Um, well, I'm basically selling everything and taking off. Uh, you know, I come to a point where, I guess, you know, I, I came to the realization the other day that it's probably like uh, the closest version to a midlife crisis that I'll probably have, but um, I think it's a good thing, what I'm doing, and I, I, I don't know, I, I, it seems to be the response of most people that, uh, you know, people, A, understand what I'm doing, and two, get a kick out of it, uh, then again, maybe the people who think I'm just crazier, just not saying nothing. Uh, but, uh, anyway, getting back, I just, uh, you know, you reach a point in your life where it's just, uh, you kind of look at yourself and you, you say, shit, man, am I the person I really want to be? And, you know, to a certain extent, I'm really proud of the person that I am. And I've done a lot of things that I'm really happy about, and I'm proud of the person that, you know, that I, I've tried real hard to be. And, uh, but there's a lot more that I could do, a lot more that I want to do. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, when when you have, you know, a house and this and that, and you get into the daily grind of, of a life and building a life in a certain place, you know, you've got to, you collect all these things and then you've got to get a job to pay for, you know, a house and to do all this and that, and, uh, you know, and, and, I don't know. I, I really. I, I, I guess I, I just. I don't know. I, I don't really see the value of a lot of things, unfortunately. I, th I don't think. Because, uh, in a weird kind of sense, I really feel like I never, never really earned any of it. A lot of things have just been kind of given to me my whole life. And, uh, you know, I'm not really proud of that, but that's, that's the black and white of it. Um, so, you know, you, I reached a point where I didn't like that aspect, uh, and uh, I just didn't like waking up every day, I don't know, like the same old shit. You know, I wake, wake up at 4.30 in the morning and drink my coffee and watch documentary or something and watch the news and just get frustrated with the way the world is, and, and I do, uh, I don't do anything, you know, I don't, I go to work, I go to work and I work for eight or nine hours on a, on a, on a road, uh, road ceiling crew with my brother and a bunch of my really good friends, and, but is, is that what I want to do? No, I don't. I don't think that's what I want to do at all. And you know, when you start asking your question, yourself that kind of a question about you know what do I want to do, and I guess the answer depends on how truthful with yourself you really are. And you know, I'm a really blunt and truthful kind of person, which is probably why my cell phone doesn't ring too often. Uh, so I'm pretty truthful and along with myself especially, I'm probably the harshest on myself. Uh, but you know, when you ask yourself questions like what do I want, you gotta answer yourself truthfully. And when it comes down to it, you know, I just wanna travel. That's what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to travel. I've always wanted to, you know, part of this is I've always wanted to, to do something 
important enough or crazy enough or cool enough to maybe capitalize on it a little bit. You know, I would, like back in the day, I always wanted to maybe open up a restaurant or something. That was the original plan. And, and you know, you just kind of go with, you have to go with what, like, gives you, basically, you know. And, I went with the natural flow of my life, and I never forced anything to happen, you know, and everything just kind of happens, and uh, the photography started getting a lot of interest, which was amazing to me, because I never expected, you know, the photography that I was doing to get any kind of attention whatsoever. Um, I was just taking pictures because I wanted to record the moments that, you know, I was seeing, and uh, yeah, I, I never expected that people would like it. Um, so I, I started, I figured, well, how people are liking this, I should probably try to run with that. And I got to the point now where it's just like, you know, I, I really don't want to work for, you know, an employer that may or may not appreciate me or may or may not, you know, pay me well enough for my time. And, you know, working for anybody, I mean, it's just not really where it's at, you know, I mean, the only really, truly way to be happy with anything is to try to do your own thing, and, you know, the way I see it is, I could maybe afford to do my own thing, I just travel around taking pictures, if I get rid of everything, you know, I can just sell everything. You know, sell, sell all my stuff, sell a bunch of my, my artwork and get a website and sell my photography and try to document the whole trip and, you know, I thought about, you know, I blog and write obsessively anyway, so I might as well try to write for a reason and maybe try to compile something towards the end of it with, uh, you know, at the end of it, this trip or journey or whatever it is and just write along the way and maybe, I don't know, who knows, maybe write, compile it into a book or some shit, like, you know, with as a journal of some sort of, I don't know, some afterthoughts or something like that, I don't know. Thinking awfully ahead right now, but that's what I do. I think, I think a lot. Like, I've already probably taken the journey uh, 20 times in my brain already. Really preparing myself for it. Uh, the more I talk to people about it, the more excited I get about it, the more people are just like, whoa, crazy. And then a lot of people are just, once they soak it all in, are just like, wow, it's, it's pretty cool. And I think the, the biggest part about it is the pride. You know, like my son thinks it's cool, I think. And that's, you know, that's, that's really important too. You know, if he wasn't cool with this, I don't think I would be. I love him. He, he really does, he understands. So anyway, uh, that's that's a big part of it, you know. I guess I, I don't know. I, I rambled a bit there. I tend to do that. I hope I didn't repeat myself too often. And I hope I didn't drag on too much and uh, wasn't fidgeting too much. I don't think I looked at the camera very much either. So maybe that'll. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, there's that. And uh, I don't know. If uh, you want to get together before I take off, uh, I've got a lot of good friends out there that I, I, should, I should probably just take the initiative and call you guys. Uh, my phone never rings. Well, rarely, at least. Uh, so maybe I'll just call you guys. Or maybe, maybe I'll just take off. Uh, Alright, that's it. That's, I think, all I wanted to say. So. Sweet. Till next time. Later.